Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Channel. Okay, subscribe. Bye. We had a uh, company called Weepon reach out to us. Wanted to send us one of their little drones to test out and basically do a review on. These things are not that expensive. I'll leave a link to them in the description, but it's way, way, way more affordable than like the Mavic Mini that we have that we shoot some videos on. Uh, that thing was like four or five hundred dollars on it. But anyway, but this thing right here is, is way, way, way below that. And as far as quality and stuff like that, we don't know yet. We're going to take it out and we're going to uh, experiment with it. I'm going to let the other son, Jordan, fly it. He likes flying these things. It, but these things, they're actually pretty good and they actually do really good quality videos and pictures and stuff like that. And they're just fun to play with. Uh, this one here is a little different than the Mavic Mini that we have. The Mavic Mini is more of a. Uh, I, I want to say more of a, in my profession, more of a surveillance type drone. This thing does, like, it does flips, 360 flips, and I, I don't think the Mavic Mini does that. It, altitude hold, it'll basically just stop and just hover right there. And it's a uh, three speed modes. It's, it has an HD camera. It's pretty well put together a little, a little drone. Comes with a little case to carry it in. Here's the case. All right, here's the controller for it. it ain't a bad looking controller. This extends out right here, like that, and then pulls out like that for you to put, basically put your phone in, so like this. You place your phone inside this and clamp it down. Pretty much the same as the Mavic Mini I have. That way you can watch your phone and drive and fly it and all that stuff. And close that back. All right, that's the controller. And here, here's the drone itself. All right, it's basically, it's just, I mean, it's pretty much identical to the little Mavic Mini we have. It folds out the same, it looks the same, everything. Uh, I will say it's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter than that Mavic Mini. This thing is like really, really, really light. Right here's your battery slot, put the battery in, uh, which we have right here. Here's the battery for it. Right there. All right, and it comes with, it comes with uh, the guards. They go around the blades if you want to put those on, if you're afraid of like hitting tree limbs, stuff like that. These help, the little guards that you put on, and it keeps from breaking those. And it also comes with some extra blades, a few extra blades, and uh, the screws and stuff to put all everything together with, which there's that. All right, guys, it also comes with a cord, and this is actually the charger. You plug directly into the back side of the battery right here, just like that. Then USB, like the little blocks or whatever in the wall. Everything's going to these things now. I don't know why, but everything is going to these. Then we just plug your battery up and plug it into the wall. So that's what that's for. All right. Comes with the instruction manual. Tells you how to use it. And how every, settings and all that stuff for it. These things are rated for 14 years old and plus. These are. These are more of a... Um, I don't want to say a toy, but more of a toy. You know what I mean? It's more for like just playing with right around here and stuff like that. I don't think it has the rehome feature uh, like the Mavic Mini does. The Mavic Mini will fly. That thing go a long, long ways, and you can match home, and it'll come right back to where it took off from. I don't think this one has that capability, but this is, like I said, this is more of a more of a or a kid type toy. This is, but I mean, it, it has some pretty good features to it though, so I can't say it's a toy. You know, so. We'll get some footage of it flying and stuff and put it all back in here. But like I said, it comes with an extra battery. comes with an extra battery. That way you got plenty of... That's one thing about the Mavic Mini. That the batteries on that thing don't last long at all. They don't last long at all. And the control on this thing is pretty heavy. And it uses just regular batteries in the back. We've already put batteries in it. So the the uh, I'm just trying to give some of the difference between this and the Mavic Mini. But the Mavic Mini, you actually charge this one too. It's got the the battery in it that's charged, the rechargeable batteries, and the drone itself that you pull the batteries out. Basically the same way, it's got a little charger for the batteries and stuff like that. You know, and to put this thing back down, you basically just reverse what you did, you just fold it back in. Be very easy with your blades, trying not to break them. All right, just fold it right back in. Just like that. Right, and it goes right back in the hole, just like that. 
be real easy with your blades watching watching where you put your blades and stuff as you put it in. All right, let's get this thing opened up. So you gotta get the drone out, flip it out. I'm just gonna set it down there for a minute. When your batteries mess them up. Slide down in here. A button on the bottom you gotta press to get it slide in all the way. You gotta go to the app store and download an app. It's WF FPOV. This thing connects through Bluetooth, I do believe. And then when you get your controls set up, you pull back on both, and then you push forward, and it should lock on to your drone. You, your light here will turn green. Your light on this as well will turn green. You got to go into your Bluetooth settings. Okay, so it's actually Wi-Fi. It's not the Bluetooth. And then it's uh, Wii Phone F FPV. And then it has a bunch of numbers. Yours would probably be different. You just connect in through that. And that's how you get your camera to pull up on your app there. And you go back to your app. So now the connect camera's connected in. We'll set this thing down on the ground and get it to take off from there. So we want to set it down to where it's facing forward from us so that we can see the camera. Then you got to press this button here. And the crank up. Once you get it rolling, you gotta kinda dial these this one in. So it's got little arrows on it. That you gotta kinda play around with and get it dialed into where it's not trying to take away from you. Right now I'm trying to hold the controls, but it's trying to push it that way, but we got a little bit of wind going that way too. The controls on this thing are pretty simple. It's right, left, forward, backwards. And then this one rotates when you turn. So, I mean, that's pretty simple. Up, down, obviously. You get it to a good height. If you want to try to do a flip or anything like that, you just take and you press one of these triggers, click it, and then click the direction, and it'll flip it. You can do that in almost every direction, I believe. And it's up there pretty pretty dang good ways right now. Yeah. Feels like it started to lose connectivity a little bit. I don't really want to take it much higher than that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This thing's more of a, a beginner friendly type thing, you know? Pretty lightweight too, so I mean, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but... 
So the wind can try to move it a little bit. Kind of weird to get it into a, a straight hover. You gotta work with it a little bit. And right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it set down right here in front of us and see if I can get it to hover in one spot. That's it, just straight hover and I'm not messing with it. And then I'll, I'll try to dial it in a little bit better. My opinion on it, I've flown the, uh, what is it, the, the Ma Mini? Mavic Mini. The Mavic Mini, and honestly, the Mavic Mini is a lot, it's a lot easier to get the hang of. This thing would definitely work good for if you're just trying to shoot a little bit of small videos and you want to go a little bit on the cheaper route, because I think the Mavic Mini, Mini runs... It's like four or five hundred bucks. Yeah, they're, they're very expensive, and this is definitely a good beginner route. You can try to get the hang of, like, flying and messing around with it, learning the controls, learning how to hook up the app and everything. Just all the stuff that you'd want to do with it. If you're just trying to have some, some fun and get a little hobby started. It's a route to see if you like, if you like flying drones, if you find it to be something that's fun for you. I personally, I like, I like doing little things like this. It's cool to kind of figure out and mess with. It's got some speed settings on here. It flips out, it holds your phone well. But definitely something fun to just play around with and figure out. Uh, this thing actually flies good. It does good. It does some pretty cool little tricks and stuff. And it's it's pretty good for the price. I, I, I'll have to uh, look it up to exactly how much it is. But we'll leave a link to our Amazon link to this thing. It, it's on Amazon. And we have links for it. So we'll share all those links to where we got it from and stuff like that. If you want to check them out. If you just want something just to... This is more of a, uh, more of a beginner type, you know... Uh, you want to get something like this. I'm not saying these are cheap by any means. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is you want to get a least, ex a least expensive one that does fairly decent as opposed to paying five, $600 for one and then taking it out and crashing it and tearing it up the first time out. So you want to get something like this to experiment with and learn how to fly it and learn how to use them before you go out and pay a big price for one and bring it out somewhere like in the woods like this and land it straight into a tree and it's gone. So, which we have done that. That other one, that little, that little cheap one we got. I flew it. Uh, we took a, a real cheap one from the store, took it out of the box, and I hooked it up. And I took it off and went straight up and went straight into the top of the tree over here, and it's still in top of that tree. So that's why I say you don't want to go out and pay a fortune for one just to just to experiment and learn how to do it. So something like this is a beginner-friendly friendly thing. It's it's very simple to fly. So anyway, guys, just check it out and see what you think about it. It's called the Wii Phone WF11. And... 
there you have it. But anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, watch our videos. Bye.